At the November 2021 group of sessions of the General Synod, I asked the Archbishop's Council to publish, at the end of the second National Past Cases Review of Safeguarding, or PCR2, a report showing, for each diocese, anonymised statistics showing the number of cases referred by the independent reviewers as showing a cause for concern, and whether or not that case had already been considered by the Church's own internal reviews, such as the diocese following a complaint to it, an archbishop following a complaint against the bishop under the clergy discipline measure, or a national safeguarding team core group, and I asked them to publish the outcomes of those deliberations. The answer came not from the Archbishop's Council, but by the Right Reverend Jonathan Gibbs, the lead Bishop of Safeguarding on behalf of the House of Bishops. He said that the final PCR2 report would reveal the overall number of new cases or cause of concern raised by the independent reviewers, but that the report would not include specific information surrounding any particular case. I asked a supplementary question. Supplementary. Thank you. Uh, Bishop Jonathan, can I, uh, you'll be aware that the eighth recommendation from the ICSA report calls for regular audits and for the reports to be published. Uh, in my question, uh, could the House of Bishops reconsider that? Because I didn't ask in the question for specific information about particular cases to be uh, reported on, but for statistical analysis so we can see and check for ourselves as part of an audit as to whether the external reviewers see problems in the church's hand, in diocese handling of cases where our own internal systems have not recognized those problems. Okay. I think we need to do that for audit. Uh, Gavin, thank you very much um, for your question. I think we return here partly to um, some of the questions we've heard earlier on today about the relationship between the national church and, uh, and dioceses. Um, the, um, there will be a national report arising out of PCR2 uh, which will deal with statistical trends. Uh, the responsibility for the publication of uh, the results of the PCR2 audit in each diocese rests with the trustees of that diocese. What's happening is that the PCR2 board has issued guidelines uh, for what should be published, uh, for, for the way in which reports should be put, take, put together in each diocese. It's anticipated at the moment, for instance, that there, uh, there might be some form of executive summary, but it will be for the trustees of the diocese, the, 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 the DBF, the Bishop's Council and so on, to decide what is uh, published locally. And those questions should be asked of each diocese uh, about what is being published in that context. But the national report will be about statistical trends. Uh, 